I need my butt kicked. It's like 7.15, shatter spawning everywhere, not anymore. And I couldn't even wake up and go fishing today. To be fair though, I didn't have no sleep the night before and I drove to Cherokee and then back and then, I don't know, I slept plenty last night though. I should have been able to get up, had my alarm set. Didn't work out though. Somebody needs to kick me in my rear end. But we out here now, we're up to Hawassi, a little different scenery today. You can see, look at that shot. Look at that boat down there. Beautiful shot. Actually, I was fishing here last uh, summer when I first moved up here. I was fishing here off the bank and this dude came up. His name, his nickname is TG, his name is Thomas. And uh, I was fishing off the bank and he came up. I talked to him for a minute and I was over there skipping a frog around some bushes. He said, you wanna go fishing with me? And I, I didn't have my boat up here yet. I was fishing off the bank a lot back then. Um, I said, yeah, I wanna go fishing with you. He took me out. First time I fished this area right here and we smashed the two, two, two and a half pounders. And at the end of the day, I actually caught a five pounder. But it was fun. That, this area up here doesn't have a lot of big, big fish in it. But if it turns on, you can catch 18 pretty consistently. So uh, maybe not consistently. You can catch 16 consistently, 18, you know, decently. So <clears throat> let's go get out there, dissect this area of Chickamauga. Don't catch too many big ones, but shake off a couple. First one of the day, choked a little white swim jig. That's actually the big bike bait swimming crawl. Not to be confused with the head case bait swimming crawl, which is way better. I'm just out of them. Little one. Nice little Hawassi River bass. Well, for some reason I had the camera off. I just caught like a four, four and a quarter, four and a half. First bite of the day, really. Other three I caught a real little. Head case bait swimming crawl caught them. The sucker catches the big ones, man, for sure. Keeper. Probably shouldn't set the hook on him, I guess, but I don't know how big he is. 310 maybe. I thought he was bigger than that whenever I saw him eat it. He would not come off, that's for sure. That one looks pre-spawn, actually. Look at that sucker, how thick. That was, I don't know how big that sucker is. I'm gonna weigh him. He's probably three and three quarters. My scale won't work. I'm gonna give you all a little bit of a midday update. We're actually biting today. Better than I expected as far as size. I caught one that's probably four and a half or five, and then one that's probably three and three quarters. Maybe, yeah, probably three and three quarters. Uh, they bite in the way I want, want them to bite, too. And they're pretty, you know, on obvious stuff, and don't like a lot of people are running it. So, this could be good. I don't plan on fishing shallow for this tournament, but if we have to, this is what we'll be doing on some part of this lake. The 
pattern works. Without a doubt, the pattern works. So it's time to stop running it. Not gonna explain what I'm doing exactly, but that's a nice one. And I didn't call it a five, pretty much. One almost four, and then this is my third biggest one, which is probably a two and a half. The pattern is walking. times they do eat it though so you get to see how big they are it's easy to shake them off whenever you know they're you know two and a half three pounders so that's one of the main reasons i like throwing a swim jig and fish just eat that sucker shouldn't have caught but if I got to weigh in one like that I'm in trouble but I still should not have caught him just in case because this is a super obvious place back here behind this island and I might need to come back here and give me one so maybe more will pull up we got three more days before the tournament so it's not gonna hurt that bad but still should not have caught that one small he was no need to shake him off it's another one I should not have caught I'll stop one of these days I didn't see him that's the problem that's three pounder If I would have saw him, I wouldn't have caught him. But he was up there in like this deep, and I just didn't think he was gonna be a good one at all. Kinda just instinctually caught him. pounder come up eat that swim jig on in these reeds so that's what we wanted to throw to all right what's going on um basically i was going to give you all a little bit of a recap of what i was doing in this video there was a major key i got onto a really strong pattern this day and what happened was up to hawassi there's a ton of really flat pockets flat creeks that have creek channels going through them and those creek channels don't get up against the bank very often usually they run out in the middle of the creeks and the flats and uh just kind of run you know just kind of snake down through the middle and when the when it got up there on the bank every single time i would hit a creek channel swing in those flat creeks i would catch four or five fish i mean i'm being serious so you you just see hundreds of yards of reeds that are like one feet of water deep on the edge of them and then all of a sudden you'd find one little thing where the stuff you know the creek channel came up to it and all of a sudden it'd be two feet of water and you just catch one like every two or three minutes pretty much and if you got a little bit of wind on it or a little bit of scattered water willows out in front of it it made it that much better same exact thing that i was flipping whenever the reeds wasn't there 
you know, you, you'd find laydowns in the water on the same exact pattern, a creek channel that runs up against the, uh, the bank or any kind of a deeper chute that cuts back into the, off the main river, back into the uh, pockets. Anytime you find any of that stuff, the isolated cover will be really good or the reeds that was a little bit deeper will be really, really key. So the water was stained, it kept them fish shallow. The water up there is actually stained all summer and it's fun up there. Problem is, you can't hardly catch anything bigger than 15 or 16 pounds without getting super lucky. So I don't try to go up there very often unless it's super, super tough, but it's a super fun way to fish. But for all the guys that want to try to catch a 10 pounder, don't, stay, don't go to the Hiawassee. It ain't gonna happen very often up there. The mouth of it, maybe, but don't go up it. And you know, it's super fun to fish Chickamauga right now. They're about to get on the ledges right now. I just got a huge shipment in from Sportsman's Outfitters of 10XDs and giant scroungers. We're about to get out there and have some hunter fish days. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get hunter jacked up on fishing. Hope y'all like that video. This is me practicing for the bass open. There's gonna be three more practice videos or maybe two and then the tournament videos. So as always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate it guys.